you help me build my Discovery Solar Robot? How long is that going to take, Jeffy? Not long at all, because it's 197 easy build pieces. 197 pieces? Come on, Marvin, just help him out. It's going to take forever, baby. But it says easy build. Yeah, Danny, it's so easy an eight-year-old can do it. See, it says age is eight plus. No, Jeffy, I think that's how many hours it's going to take to build. Eight plus. No, Danny, look at how many pieces. What the? What the hell is this? You gotta break every little individual piece. That's gonna take a whole day by itself. Danny, that's light work. It's not light work. It's gonna take forever, Jeffy. No, it won't, Danny. Look at the instructions. What? This is like hieroglyphics. I'm not a scientist. I can't read this, Jeffy. Look, how about we just play with something else, Jeffy? Like, you can go play with something fun. Okay, Danny. I guess I'll just play with matches. No, 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 Jeffy. <laughs> hey! Where fire go? I blew it out. You're not gonna play with matches, Jeffy. But where fire go? I blew it out. Where fire go when you blow it out? It disappears. But where does it go? It goes back to the sun. That's that's where fire comes from. Why? Uh, Jeffy, just go take a bath. <sighs> okay, Daddy. Never gonna build that. It'll take forever. Time for me to turn on the bath. Wait, wait, what the? What is that? Elephant poop in the bathtub? Daddy! Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? You're supposed to be taking a bath. Well, I was going to, Daddy, but there's six elephant turds in the bathtub. You took a crap in the bathtub, Jeffy! It wasn't me this time! Jeffy, you're supposed to poop in the toilet, not the bathtub. It wasn't me, Daddy! It's the size of elephant poop! Well, Jeffy, you go clean it up because it's yours. No, Daddy, you have to see it. Come see it! Marvin, just go with him. But, baby, he craps in the bathtub and he's just trying to show us to brag about it. Okay, you know what, Jeffy? I'm going to make you clean it up. Come on. See, they look. What, are those potatoes? No, it's elephant poop. Jeffy, that's not elephant poop. There's no smell. It looks like they're kind of eggs. How are you getting eggs out of that? Because of the shape of eggs, and I don't know what these are. They look really old. Well, let me call an egg expert. But pick them up and bring them to the couch. All right, Daddy. Hey, Leah. Somebody call an egg expert? I expected that to get more of a laugh. <laughs> Get it? Now you're just exaggerating. <laughs> now I'm just egging you on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's get started. What do you got for me? So we found these in our bathtub, and we don't know what they are. Hmm. Well, at a glance, they look like dinosaur eggs. Dinosaur eggs? Or they could be bombs. Bombs? Yeah, you can never be too careful. Okay, everybody duck. Frag grenade, out! Huh. Not a bomb. Well, I guess I know what these are now. Dinosaur eggs? Exactly. They were in my bathtub. Yeah, well, dinosaur eggs are extremely rare because dinosaurs are extinct. So destroying or disturbing these eggs is a serious felony. You can get a lot of time in prison. Didn't you just throw one out the window? Hey, that was for science. I had to make sure these weren't bombs. Why would these be bombs? Well, you never know what those crazy terrorists are planning. One minute you think it's a dinosaur egg and then you try to grab it and then bam, your hand ends up looking like Jason Pierre Paul's. Well, where would dinosaur eggs even come from? Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Let's let's really think about that. They're they're dinosaur eggs, so they probably would have come from dinosaurs. Huh, how about that? Context clues as fuck. But like, but where would a dinosaur even be at? Marvin, we have a pet dinosaur. We do have a pet dinosaur. Jeffy, go grab your pet dinosaur. All right, Donnie. You forgot you had a pet dinosaur? Well, yeah, I'm getting old. All right, Donnie, there's Booger. <sighs> All right, so that's our dinosaur named Booger. Oh, don't say that name. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Jesus Christ. It's me, Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Hi. Did you miss me? Not really. Who are you talking to? I have an imaginary friend named Booger, and whenever you said that name, he thought you were summoning him, so now he won't get the hell out of my ear. Hey, who's these people? They mess with you? No, they're not. You want me to ruffle them up? No, you don't have to do that. They're fine. Okay, good, because you're the man. I know. They should know that, too. No. You're the guy. Yeah, I you're understand. the best. Yeah, you're okay. awesome. I get it. You're the uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Jesus Christ, Booger. Just let me do my job. Oh, you're doing your job? You want me to help you? No, you I don't. Pee your pants, I didn't Jeff? pee my pants. Hey, you didn't pee your pants. Good job, buddy. Uh, you know, That's seven days free. Uh, yeah, okay. Pee your pants, the men. Thank you. Yeah, hey, hey, Booger. Hey, you know what you can do for me? You can get me some tissues for all my boogers. Oh, you got some boogers? Let no, me, I don't. Check you get out of my nose, there. Booger. Hey, no boogers up there, but there's a booger right here. Could you just get the tissues, please, Booger? Yeah, I'll be right. Holy shit. Okay, can we please make this quick before he comes back? You see that dinosaur right there? That dinosaur laid these eggs. It's a girl dinosaur. Congratulations. But I thought Booger was a boy. Nope, it's a girl. Okay, so then how did she get pregnant? Well, you know, another dinosaur had to... <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah! I got your tissues, Brooklyn guy! 
Thank you, Booger. Okay, look, I helped you with your problem. Just don't destroy these eggs, all right? Take care of them. Come on, Booger, let's go. Oh, we get an ice cream? Oh, fuck. I can't believe Booger's a girl. But Marvin, who got Booger pregnant? I don't know. We don't know any other dinosaurs. Ooh, my bibs, can I borrow $70? Why do you need $70, Dougie? To get the new Harry Poopers game. There's a new Harry Potter game? Yeah, it's Harry Poopers and the Expedition of Hobbops. You get to see Dumbledoofus. You also get to give a Dobby his sock bag. And you get to see Hermione's fine ass. Okay, well, I thought you played Call of Duty, not Harry Potter. Well, usually I do be playing some Call of Duty, but now I want to play Harry Potter. I want to be on Hufflepuff. Have a good day, Bibs. Okay, well, all I have is a... It's a hundred dollars. Oh, that'll do. Well, I need my change back. Well, if you want some change, then you need to vote for Obama. What? Yeah. Oh, you be collecting some rocks? No, these are dinosaur eggs, Dougie. Dinosaur eggs? Eggs is expensive. Wait a minute. Uh, Dougie, you see that dinosaur over there? Oh, yeah, that got my cousin Pookie. Well, did you and your cousin Pookie, you know, uh, 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 oh, yeah? Uh. Oh, no, man, no, that's my cousin Pookie. She ratchet, she a thot. Well, I thought, I thought Booger, I mean, I, I thought your cousin Pookie was a boy. Nah, I mean, she's so ugly, she could be a boy. But I ain't, I ain't do nothing with her. So these are not your eggs? No, those ain't mine. All right, baby, we really got to protect these eggs. They're very valuable. You said they were valuable? Yeah, they are valuable. They're dinosaur eggs. They're worth a lot of money. Well, how much is they worth? I don't know, thousands? Oh, the thousands? Stacks? Mother, we should sell these right here. But uh, we're not selling them, Dougie. They're gonna hatch, and they're 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 like dinosaurs are extinct, so they're endangered. We'll go we'll go to jail if we sell these, Dougie. Oh come on, Ma Bips. We could get some money. We're not. We'd be really ripped. We're not getting money. Just go buy your Harry Potter game, Dougie. <sighs> okay, Ma Bips. All right, baby. Let's protect these eggs. Hey there, welcome to the black market. Why I gotta be black? Cause of my skin color? No, it's cause it's dark in here. All right then, as long as it's cause of that. So you buying or selling? Well, I'm trying to sell me some dinosaur eggs, but I ain't got any. Okay, well, if you did have dinosaur eggs, you could get a lot of money for them cause dinosaurs are extinct. Well, how much money I be gets? Probably a couple million cause they're pretty rare. Millions? Like a million badillion? Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go steal them and I'll be right back. Okay. Marvin, can we go out to eat tonight? No, baby, we have to stay home and sit on these eggs until they hatch. But how do we know they're going to hatch? Because they're eggs, baby, and eggs hatch when... Oh, no! You caught me! Dougie, you put that egg back right now! No, I got to sell it for some money! You're not selling these eggs, Dougie. They're endangered. Let it go. But, folk, I need some money! No, you, you put the egg down. No, you no, this is my money. Egg. Give it to me! Oopsie daisy. Doug, you just killed that egg. Well, if you would have let me have it, then I could have sold it for some money and it would still be alive. Doug, I'm going to get in so much trouble. That was illegal what you just did. Well, if you're going to get in trouble anyway, why don't you just let me have one of the eggs? No, you're not having any more of these eggs. Find this keeper. Wait, wait, no, 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 Dougie. Dougie, get back here. Oh, no. Ah, Dougie, you broke another egg. No, you broke the egg by tackling me and makes me drop it. I ain't do nothing wrong. Well, Dougie, just get out of here. Baby, we lost another egg. What? How? Because Ma Bibbs tried pushing me down the stairs because he's mean. No, you were trying to steal the eggs, and now we only have three left. If Broken Guy finds out we lost two of the eggs, we're going to get arrested. Hey there, just here to check on those eggs and make sure they're not broken. Uh, Why are there three? Because five is a lot to sit on. <laughs> That's what my ex-wife didn't say. Well, look, we needed help sitting on the eggs to help them hatch. So Booger said on two of them. Don't say that name, please. I'm talking about Booger the dinosaur. God damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, Booger. I'm back. Oh, good. Oh, why are you in your cop uniform? You gonna catch some bad guys? Yeah, well, I am a cop, Booger. Oh, you should shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Um, is it happening again? Oh, yeah. I am in hell right now. Oh, Brooklyn guy, great idea. You play good cop, I'll play the bad cop. They can't hear you, Booger. That wouldn't work. Okay, you go first. <sighs> what happened to the other two eggs? What happened? It doesn't matter if you yell, Booger, they can't hear you. We should arrest them. You know what? That's a good idea. Go get the handcuffs, Booger. Oh, okay, okay. But don't forget, by that time in middle school when you misspelled house in a school spelling bee, H-O-W-S-C. -E. Now, everyone else thought you were wrong, but I thought you was right. It should be spelled that way, because you're the man. Uh-huh, thank you. Thank you, Booger. Okay, I'll go get the, those handcuffs. Please, please do But that. don't forget about that time in high school when you asked how your crush Rebecca Smith oh, and you pooped Rebecca. your pants. Oh. Remember everyone called you stinky, smelly, ugly, stupid Brooklyn guy? Yeah. Not me. I called you the man. Poopy pants the man. 
Yeah, you did say that. Thank you, Booger. Okay, we don't have long before he gets back. Uh, what happened to the eggs? Oh, because uh, I told you, I told you that the, 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 the dinosaur was sitting on them, and that, that's what's happening. Oh, well, that's really interesting, because I found one of the eggs broken at the bottom of your stairs, and when I pulled into the driveway, I found the other one broken there next to the one that I broke for science. So, so there's two in the driveway? No, you just reused the footage of you throwing the last one, you lazy piece of shit. Well, well I, I didn't feel like doing it again. I'm tired. Oh, wait, listen, listen, listen. We got, we got three eggs, and it's not my fault. You know, it's, it's, it's Dougie's fault. Well, it's not my fault. I just really wanted the eggs so I could sell them for a million dollars. Ah, I got those handcuffs, Pokemon guy. Oh, that's good, because it looks like I'm going to be arresting these people. Wait, 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 hold on, I'm sorry. Did, did you just say that you were going to sell these eggs for a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, you could be a rich man. The man's man. The man. Man that ever man to man. Huh, I do like the sound of that. Yeah, be do the right thing, Booking Guy. Wait, you, we can't sell these for a million dollars against the law. Screw the law. I want to be a millionaire. If we sell these, we can get a million dollars each. I mean, there are three, and there's three of us, so we all have a million dollars. Let's go sell these eggs. All right, let's go sell them. All right, here's the dinosaur egg. Hey, no cops. That's like rule number one in the black market. Well, no, 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 he's cool, he's cool. We're just trying to sell these eggs. So we'll really get a million dollars per egg? Yeah, if these are real dinosaur eggs. No, these are not real dinosaur eggs. What are you talking about? You said they were real. They are. Hey, if Brooklyn Guy says they're real, they're real. So, so these are not real. No, no, there's a lot of fake eggs going around. See, there's this kid's toy you can buy at Target. It's the Dig'em Up Dinosaur Eggs toy. I opened mine already. It's actually really fun. Oh, yeah. I, I think I bought these for Jeffy like a few months ago. I just forgot. Yeah, that'll happen. So we don't get a million dollars per egg? No, sorry. But I'll tell you what, if you have a built version of this thing, I'll give you 10 million. Oh, that's not worth it. I know. Guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, 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 we gotta do the one chip challenge. The what? The one chip challenge. There's this one chip that's super hot, but once you eat it, you're gonna spit it back up. It's so intense. You might cry, you might sweat, or even throw up, dude. It's that hot? Bro, it's that hot. We should all try it. Oh, I got three of them. We're gonna try them today. What, well, Cody, are you gonna try it? Guys, it's a potato chip. It's not that hot. Well, I wanna see you try it then. Okay, let's see what the pamphlet says. It says if you can last one minute, you're powerless. 10 minutes, you're powerful. 30 minutes, you're supercharged. In one hour, you're invincible. Dude, you're not gonna last 10 seconds. Guys, this is a kid's game. I'm a man. I can handle a potato chip. Then eat it, Cody. Yeah! Okay, fine, I will. Let's take a look at this stupid thing. It doesn't look that hot. Ow. It, is it hot, Cody? Mm-mm. Wait, wait, it's not hot at all? Mm-mm. No way! Maybe it's expired. It gotta be expired. Come uh, on. I wanna try it. I wanna try it. I'm gonna open this one up, dude. Yeah, if it's not that hot, I wanna try it. Yeah, hold Are you sure it's not hot, Cody? Wait, wait. Nope, it's not hot at all. Wait. Cody, why'd your face red? Oh, I, I'm just embarrassed for the chip company because they think it's hot, but it's not. Dude, you're shirtless. Yeah, I, I just want to show you how strong I am and how weak that chip is. Wait, mm. th th so the chip wasn't hot at all? No, that chip's for bitches. So you can eat two of them, huh? I could, but I'm not hungry right now. Oh, okay, eat two, eat two. That'd be yeah, so come cool. Come on, dude. Uh, you can do it. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, yeah, do it, dude. Mm. Is it hot? Mm -mm. Come on, it has to be hot. It's the one chip challenge. You ate two. Mm -hmm. The Cody's truly a man. He's not a man. He can't be. Oh, you know you know what would be really cool? What? He could eat three. Dude, Dude, he would be a savage. Oh, wait, open it up, open it up. Let's try to eat three. Open it up. Okay. Uh, Cody, are you. Cody! What, what, Dude! What happened to your hair? Oh, I, I shaved it to show you how much of a badass I am. It, it didn't fall off or anything. Oh, oh, wait, 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 why are your eyes red? Oh, I'm just so mad that that chip wasn't as hot as I wanted it to be. Oh, wait, can you eat three? Because if you could eat three, you're truly a badass. Yeah, dude. Yeah, okay, I could do this all day. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, dude. I want to see it. What, why is your tongue black? Oh, uh, I guess my tongue died because of how hot the chip wasn't. Oh, 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 okay. Well, eat it then, dude. Oh, <laughs> I eat it. Eat oh, it. Savage, savage, savage! Whoa! Dang, dude, you really ate three chips? Wow, you finally get my respect now, bro! Well, boys, your friend Cody's lucky to be alive, but I gotta ask, what happened? Did he try to eat like a thousand bees? No, he ate three of the one chip challenges! What, three? What is he, crazy? No, he's a savage! Well, he's only supposed to eat one, and even then, that one is dangerous! And he ate three like it was nothing! What a badass! So, like, is he gonna die? Well, see, that's the thing. He has third degree burns all over his body, his tongue is medically dead, and his stomach melted. His stomach melted? Yeah, so we're gonna have to do a stomach transplant. Well, go 
in the back and get a stomach. Well, this isn't Best Buy. I don't just have a closet full of stomachs back there. We're gonna need a stomach donor. We'll find a stomach donor. And see, that's the problem with stomachs. See, people need stomachs to live. So if we take a stomach from one person, they're gonna need a stomach, and then we're gonna have to take another stomach from someone else for them, and then it just goes on and on with people trading stomachs. So how are we gonna find a stomach? Well, we're gonna have to wait till we find somebody who's dead or dying and take their stomach. Well, why don't we just go to a nursing home and grab an old person and take their stomach? Well, then he'd have the stomach of like an 80 year old man, and then he would only be able to eat like jello and tapioca and stuff. So he needs a stomach from someone our age? Yeah, and that's pretty tough because people your age don't usually die unless it's an accident. Wait a minute. So what if one of our friends that we don't really care about just so happens to die today, we can bring them to you and you'll take their stomach? Um, if somebody your age were to just happen to die, I could use their stomach, yes. Joseph, what's up? We should totally kill one of our friends we don't care about and bring him the body so we get the stomach. Oh, dude, I've been waiting on this. Let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, okay, I, I didn't hear any of that. Okay, so we're gonna bring you a stomach of someone our age. Wait, wait, wait. Just bring me the body and I will handle the stomach. All right, come on, Joseph. Let's go kill someone. Yeah, let's kill our friend. I didn't hear that either. All right, Joseph. Let's name off some friends that we really don't care about. Ooh, I can name a few. Like Patrick, that kid from class. Oh yeah, Patrick. He thinks everything's crazy. When it's not. So let's use his stomach. But but, dude, how are we gonna kill him? Uh, ooh, I know. We can we can put one of my toys on the roof and ask him to go get it. And then we lock him on the roof, and the only way he can get down is jump off. And that's how he dies. Ooh, you evil genius, you! So I bet he's outside. Let's go get him. Yeah, let's get him. Uh, hey, Patrick. Hey, guys, look at my Spider Man bounty. Sure is bouncy. Yeah, uh huh? Uh, Patrick, we need your help. I lost one of my toys. I need you to get it for me. Okay. Yeah, we need you to use your Spider-Man powers. Okay, I'll help. Uh, come on. See, Patrick, right there. there. There's my paddle ball right there. Why is it on your roof? Uh, I got frustrated because I couldn't do it, and it was making me mad, so I threw it on the roof. Oh, that makes sense. Can you go get it for me? Okay, this is crazy. Joseph, close the window. Close the window. I got you, dude. Uh! Why did they close the window? I'm going to get the paddle ball. Wait, this is fun. So now what, dude? Well, uh, eventually he's gonna get hungry and he's gonna wanna get off the roof and we locked the window, so the only way for him to get off the roof is he has to jump and jumping off the roof will kill him. Okay, so when is that gonna happen? Uh, well, he's having a lot of fun with that paddle ball, so. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe we should go try to kill someone else in case he doesn't jump. Ooh, sounds like fun. All right, Joseph, let's think of someone else in case Patrick doesn't jump off the roof. Ooh, how about that bully kid from class that's always bullying us? Oh yeah, the bully, he's always making fun of us. Wait, why didn't we think of him first? We don't care about him. Right? Okay, so, so how about this? We go get the bully to come over to my house. We tell him we want to go swimming, and we say we're stronger swimmers than him. Ooh, that'll make him mad, dude. And the only way he's a stronger swimmer than us is if he can swim uh, with his weight tied to his ankle. And then he'll drown, and then we'll use his stomach, and we can let Patrick off the roof. Ooh, that's a genius plan. We take a life and save a life. Yeah, so, so let's go get the bully. Yeah, let's get his bully. Uh, nerd, give me your lunch money. I don't have any money. I know you do. Hey, bully. What, what do you nerds want? Give me your lunch money. Uh, we, we were going to invite you to swim in my pool. W why would you invite me? You guys hate me. Uh, but you're our best friend. Yeah, and wouldn't you like to swim in a nice, cool pool? You look stressed. Yeah, that sounds kind of fun, actually. Yeah, so, so come swim in my pool with us. Okay. All right, let's swim in the pool. Yeah! Wow, I never thought you guys would let me swim with you. That's really nice, thank you. You don't know how to swim! Pussy! What? Yeah, you suck at swimming! Who? you're gonna drown! Well, I can swim! Someone who doesn't know how to swim says what? What? You don't know how to swim! I, I, know how to swim. swim. I, I can swim! If you're so good at swimming, then I bet you can't swim with this weight tied around your ankle. Well, I bet I can! Okay, let's tie it on your ankle then, come okay. on! Okay, are you sure you can swim with this weight tied to your ankle? Yeah, I'm a really strong swimmer. Ha, you're gonna swim to the bottom! All right, Joseph, throw the weight in there. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get a stomach. Oh, yeah, stomach us up, dude. Uh, all right, Patrick, you can come down now. Hey, guys, you kind of left me on the roof up here. Yeah, sorry about that, but we don't need you anymore, so you can jump off now. Okay. Hey, can I jump in your pool from here? Uh, jump into the pool? Uh, Yeah, you should be able to make it in the pool from right there. Okay, it's crazy. Whoa! Uh, what? Patrick, what'd you do? Yeah, dude, he's supposed to be drowning. Guys, the crazy thing just happened. I jumped off the roof and I saw this guy drowning and I saved his life. What? Well, we were trying to kill you guys. Yeah, you ruined it. What? I'm out of here. Whoa, Patrick, you ruined everything. You want me to get back on the roof? Yeah, get back on the roof. Hurry okay. up. <sighs> oh, Joseph, I'm so frustrated. I know. We had him, dude. He was drowning. I know, and then Patrick had to save his life. <sighs> but at least Patrick's back on the roof. But he can keep jumping in the pool, dude. Okay, how about we drain the pool so when he jumps in the pool, he dies? But it's going to take hours to drain the pool. Okay, how about while the pool drains, we get another person to come over and we get their stomach. Like who, dude? Oh, we can call it Penelope. But don't you have a crush on her? But she's a girl and all girls are the same. It's not like I'm going to miss her. You're right, dude. Juice World was right. Yeah, all girls are the same. So I'll call up Penelope and just ask her for her stomach. Wait, why would she give you her stomach, though? Because girls want to be skinny and if she gives us her stomach, she'll be skinny. Oh, yeah, she would totally be skinny. Okay, yeah, because she won't eat anymore. So let me call Penelope. 
What do you want, Junior? Well, there's something I need from you. Ooh, I like how this starts off, dude. Okay, well, what do you need? Well, the thing I need is inside of you. Oh, no, I'm out of here. No, 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 I promise, I promise I'm not being gross. I'm not. Listen, the thing I need is where babies come from. Oh, my God, I'm leaving. I'm talking about your stomach. I'm talking about your stomach. What babies don't come from your stomach, Junior? Yes, they do. That's why women's stomach get big when they're pregnant. It comes from your stomach. Oh, I don't have time to explain anatomy to you. Okay, listen, we need your stomach. It's an emergency. Well, why? Because Cody needs a stomach transplant. Oh, he's gonna die. No, Junior, if I give you my stomach, I'll die. Well, listen, listen, baby, listen, talk to me, talk to me, baby, listen. Don't you want to be skinny? If you give me your stomach, you're not gonna eat anymore and you'll actually be skinny. Yeah, you look pretty fat over there, Penelope. You look like a chunky monkey. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Look, you're gaining a few pounds. Listen, you're, you're pretty big. You're bigger than me. So listen, if you give me your stomach, you'll lose weight because you won't eat and then you'll be like a supermodel. Paper thin. Yeah, guys will actually like you. You know what? I'm fine with the way I look, Junior. Okay, you can lie to yourself, but not me. Listen, like, you get you get skinny, but we can, we can fix your face later with plastic surgery. Yeah. But listen, you give me your stomach, you'll be really skinny, I promise. Oh my God, you are so... So rude, Junior! I'm leaving! No, 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 okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, back up plan. Grab a hammer and knock her out. Okay, I got you. Uh, stomach schmummick. How about we make out, baby? Ew, no! Oh, where's she at? Oh, she left. Aw, oh, dude! Yeah, I'm she's so ready! She's comfortable in her own skin. Oh, what's wrong with these women these days? It's like they can't be manipulated. I know, she has a self-esteem or something. <sighs> I wish a stomach would just fall into our laps. Who's at the door? I don't know. Hello? Hey, uh, you mind if I hide out here for a while? The police are looking for me. What'd you do? Oh, nothing serious. I, uh, stole a video game. Well, that's dumb. Video games should be free. Yeah, y yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I said. Yeah, so you can come inside. Yeah, you look cool, dude. Oh, I'm good. So, what's your name? Uh, Purple People Eater. Purple People Eater? Yeah, but you can call me Greg. All right, Greg, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm hungry. What? The news is on! I wouldn't watch that. Breaking news! The normal news anchor is on a cruise! So filling in is me, Steve Stalberger. So, breaking news! An escaped convict known as the Purple People Eater, known for eating his victims after they've decomposed and turned purple, has escaped from prison. Keep an eye out for him, he's very dangerous. Awkward. Uh, Greg, can you give us a second? Okay. Uh, Joseph, there's a serial killer right next to us. You know what that means? We need to run! What? No, 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 no. Grab the hammer and kill him. We can take his stomach. No one's gonna miss a serial killer. Oh, you're right, dude. I'll get the hammer. All right. Hey, Greg. So, we don't care what we just saw on the news. I mean, we know you're a good guy. Yeah, I only stole a video game. I got the hammer, dude. Wait, what's the hammer for? Uh, we're gonna make a TikTok to that song, Hammer Time. Uh, I love that song. Yeah, so go, go, go! Ah! Well, kid, your friends never came back. I guess I'm just gonna have to pull the plug. Ugh, doctor, doctor, doctor! I found a guy we can take his stomach! What, is that purple people eater? Yeah, we hit him with a hammer! What, you know he eats people, right? His stomach is gonna be full of human remains. Well, you could just empty the stomach and give it to him. It's still a stomach. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I guess we can do the surgery after all! Yeah! Well, guys, I made a full recovery. I just want to say thanks for giving me a new stomach. Anytime, bud! Uh, get, get back down here! Yeah, Cody, we wanted you to be alive, so we got you a stomach. There was a lot of people we tried to kill. Wait, what? Yeah, there was a lot of people. We had to find you a new stomach, and we finally got you the perfect stomach. So how's it feeling? Well, it's okay, but whenever I eat food, I just don't feel satisfied. Oh, uh, well, maybe because you need to eat people. Wait, what? Yeah, that stomach belonged to a serial killer who ate people. Wait, what? He ate people? Yeah, but only purple people, which means after the body decomposed and turned purple. Oh, oh God, I think I'm going to throw up. Well, no, you're not. Your stomach's used to eating stuff like that. So oh. look, maybe it's just hungry because you're not eating people. Uh, I can't eat people, Junior. Yeah, well, don't worry. You don't have to eat people, but that's probably why you're not satisfied. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't, I don't have to. <laughs> ah! What do you want to do today? We should stay inside and read a book. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I was kidding. Anyone else have any bright ideas? Well, we could go in the forest and light this firework. <gasps> that would be such a cool idea! Oh, dude, we have to do that. That's fun! Uh, okay, hold on, guys. It's daytime, so you wouldn't even be able to see it. And also, it's the dry season, so we could cause a forest fire. And the firework is bent, so it won't even fly straight. It might hit somebody. Cody, are you a firework expert? No, but I have eyes and I can see that it's bent. Then I don't want to hear your opinion if you're not a firework expert. I want to see your firework license. <sighs> All right, fine. Well, we're going to go light this firework, Cody. You coming? No, I'm not going. Wow, stay here and be a loser. Come on, guys. Loser. Okay, Jeffy, light the firework. All right, Junior, this is going to be sick. Yeah, dude. Oh, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, oh. Stay back, stay back. 
Oh, dude. Oh, it, it hit the tree. Uh, dude, we just started a forest fire. Let's get out of here. Ah! Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, Simmons, there's a forest fire and there are houses around. Should we go in the houses and check for cats? No, I think we should focus on putting out the fire. You go get some bottles of water and start throwing them on there. On it. God, I really wish we had a real fire truck with water. We don't really get any funding these days. Okay, I'm gonna call for backup. Hello, Chief, this is Station 4, thank you, thank you. We need backup, over. Yes, Lieutenant Guy, what do you need backup for? Yeah, Chief, I got a forest fire here and you didn't give me a truck with water, so I don't really know what to do. Also, the Dalmatian you gave me is not a Dalmatian. He's just really cute and all he wants is cuddles. To be fair, I don't know what the Dalmatian was supposed to do anyway. Well, what I would do is ask any nearby houses if you can use their water hose. And if that doesn't work, Spit on it. Oh, yeah, uh, got it, Chief. Over and out. Thank you. Hey, mate, I found this lighter. A lighter? That means kids might have been playing with fireworks. Simmons, take that back to the police station and look for fingerprints. Screw this fire. We have a suspect to look for. Ah, what are we gonna do? I don't know, dude. So, how'd it go? Based on your reaction, I would guess not great. It went great, Cody. Yeah, perfectly fine, dude. Shut up. Yeah, shut your pie hole, Cody. So, how'd it go? Why do you keep asking questions? Yeah, just shut your mouth, God! Yeah, you're acting like we started a forest fire or something. We did it. You're totally innocent. You know what? I'm gonna turn on the news just to see. Breaking news, okay? A forest fire is currently burning the forest. The cause is unknown. Please stay away from the area. Wow, looks like somebody started a forest fire. I wonder who did it. Dude, they're totally onto us. What are we gonna do? Ow! Shut up, Joseph. No one knows we caused that forest fire. Oh yeah, we totally did not cause that forest fire. Technically, it was the fireworks fault. <gasps> it was the fireworks fault. It wasn't our fault. So you guys did start the forest fire. No, Cody, tell us whose fault this is. We took a firework into the woods and we lit it and then it blew up randomly and then made the forest catch on fire. Randomly. Well, you guys lit the fireworks, so it's not that random, is it? Well, we didn't want it to go in the forest. We lit it so it'd blow up in the sky. It curved and went into the woods. It was bent. I told you that was going to happen. So everyone who buys a firework is supposed to bring you with them to tell them not to do it? There are warnings on the fireworks. Well, no one's going to read the warning. They're just excited they have a firework. They just want to hurry up and light it. And we're kids. I think they just assume it's common sense. Well, I don't have that. I know. So look, I think we should sue the firework company for making fireworks to begin with. Dude, that's a genius idea. I think you guys should just stay quiet because nobody knows you started the fire. But if you try to sue somebody, they're going to find out. Well, no, if we sue them first before we get arrested, then they're gonna get in trouble because we could sue them because why would they even make something that explodes? That's dangerous. And that's stupid. So we should sue them, we'd win, we get more money, then we buy more fireworks, then we cause more forest fires, then we sue them again. Ooh, the infinite money glitch. Oh, we gotta do it before they patch it. Yeah, infinite money glitch. Okay, you guys can just do whatever you want. I'm gonna stay here. Okay, I'm gonna call a lawyer. Hey there, you called a lawyer for some legal advice? Yeah, we did. Well, I want to let you know that I charge $10,000 a minute, so start talking. We don't have that kind of money. Well, then I'm leaving. Well, no, 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 don't leave. We know your son Richard, and he said that you'd be our lawyer for free. He said that? He sure did. I'm gonna beat his ass. Richard, get your privileged ass in here! Yeah, Dad, you told me to wait in the Lamborghini. Do you know these poor people? Hey, Richard. Hi. I've never seen him a day before in my life. Okay, good. You lied to me. Well, no, we didn't lie to you. We, we know him. Look, here's what's going on. They started a forest fire by lighting some fireworks in the woods, and now they want to sue the fireworks company for making fireworks. Uh, ow! We didn't start the fire. Someone else did. It was a friend of ours. <sighs> a friend of theirs started a forest fire. I see what's going on here. First of all, you can't sue the firework company. And what I would do is, I would hide, and I wouldn't say anything to anybody. There, there's your free legal advice. See, Junior, I told you. Why would you tell him that we started the forest fire? Now he's gonna go tell the cops. It was pretty obvious. No, you should've said our friend caused it. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna go to jail now. We're so going to jail. Hey, Susan, can you run the fingerprints on this lighter for me? All right, let me see. Trying to figure out who started this forest fire. Oh my God, it was you! Oh no, Mike, get in here! What's up, Simmons? I was putting my cop outfit on. It was me who started the forest fire! His fingerprints were on the lighter! Simmons, how could you? I don't even remember doing it, Mike. All those poor wild animals. Simmons, I'm so sorry, but I hate to do this. I have to arrest you. I understand, Mike. I deserve it. Wait a second, are you wearing gloves? No, no I am not. Hold on, there's a second set of fingerprints on here. Enhancing, enhancing, bingo, Jeffy, age 18. Oh, that makes way more sense, Simmons. I was with you the whole time, it couldn't have been you. You should just wear gloves next time. I'm gonna go arrest Jeffy. 
Freeze, Jeffy, you're under arrest for starting that forest fire. See, Cody, I told you that lawyer snitched on us. Well, nobody snitched, except for his fingers, because we found his fingerprints on the lighter. Well, if I chew him off, you won't have any proof. Hey, hey, hey you can't do that. Spit your fingers out. Stop eating your fingers. Damn, Pooby, you have a hairy arm. I sure do. And it's right up my ass. Well, Jeffy, have fun in jail. What, Junior, you and Joseph helped? Ooh, you dirty cracker! Yeah, you stupid honky, why would you tell him that? Oh, we gotta stick together, bro. Yeah, brothers gotta protect each other. What, you guys were really just gonna let Jeffy go to jail? When the pinky gets gangrene, you cut it off to save the body, Cody. Wait, hold on, you're saying these two kids also started the fire? Yeah. Well, no, listen, it was my idea to shoot the firework off in the forest, but I didn't light the firework, he lit it. But I, I also provided the firework, and Joseph... I ain't do shit. I'm out! Uh, it's true. He really didn't do much. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you and Jeffy are under arrest then. Well, I want to sue the firework company for inventing fireworks. W what? Okay, look, let's just go to jail and we'll let the judge sort it out. Yeah, let's, let's let him sort it out. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy and Junior. These two boys are being accused of starting a forest fire and killing chipmunks and squirrels and lizards and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. You boys, why did you start this forest fire? Did Smokey the Bear teach you nothing? Well, you see, Your Honor, it wasn't our fault, it was the fireworks' fault. Yep, it was the fireworks' fault. Go on, please continue. See, Your Honor, what happened was we took the firework into the woods and we lit it and then it flew in the woods and caught on fire. So my argument is, is that if fireworks were never invented, then that we could have never gotten one and then it would have never caught the forest on fire. So we want to sue the creator of fireworks. I see. So you boys are going with the insanity defense because, I mean, you must be stupid to think you could sue a firework for blowing up. I mean, that's like me going to a restaurant, ordering food and choking on it and then suing the restaurant because I didn't chew my food. That's that's like me hiring a prostitute and then her giving me herpes and me suing her because she gave me herpes. I mean, I knew the risk and that's just, that's a memory I'm going to have to live with and my burning urethra. So you two boys are going to have to live with the consequences of your actions the way I live with my herpes. Now, you two are obviously guilty, but what punishment do I give you? Hmm, let me just check the punishment book real quick. Oh, there it is! Screw you, forest haters! I sentence you to plant one tree, and I sentence you to one night of community service with police supervision. Uh, Officer Guy, you accompany them. Uh, can't do that, Judge. The heat game's tonight, so you're gonna have to find someone else. Go heat! Oh, you're going to supervise these kids, or you will spend the next month in jail. That's an order. Go Knicks! Oh, you look like a Knicks fan, you bastard. <sighs> Come on, kids. Ruining my night. Ugh, I hate you kids for ruining my night. Hey look, Cody left us a note! I know you guys are going to jail. Call me when you get out. Love, Cody. That was nice of him. Okay kids, here's the deal. See, you guys are supposed to plant a tree tonight, okay? But fuck that. Mr. Beast already planted like 20 million trees and I'm pretty sure he's got you guys covered. We're just gonna say one of those trees was yours. Now you guys are also supposed to do community service tonight and I'm supposed to watch you. But see, here's the thing. <laughs> the only thing I'm watching is the heat! See, because when we win this game, we're gonna go on to the Eastern Conference Finals, and then I get to wear this shirt. See that? Hemi stands for Hemi Butler. See, what he does is he whips out his ball sack on the court, and he rubs it on people's faces while he's dunking on them. But I thought we were supposed to do community service. You are doing community service. You're helping a police officer watch the Heat game. Thank you for your service. But, like, aren't we supposed to, like, tell the community that we're sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell them they're sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that by playing the game sorry while I watch the Heat beat this sorry-ass team. Like, who even are the Knicks? You really thought you could beat Jimmy in your dreams, New York? But aren't we supposed to pick up trash on the interstate? What, the only trash that would be on the interstate is if the Knicks' bus broke down on the way home. Well, like, we can't go pick up trash outside? What, no, because there's no TV outside and I couldn't watch the Heat game. Aren't we supposed to, like, go clean up the forest? Well, okay, you guys can just do whatever the hell you want. Just don't tell the judge, okay? I'm gonna watch the Heat game. Hey, Junior, you wanna go outside and light more fireworks? Yeah, let's go do it! Oh, thank God they're gone. Ooh, the game is starting. What? what? Breaking news, MK! Okay? A second forest fire has started, and this one is so bad that we will have to interrupt the Miami Heat and New York Knicks game with around-the-clock coverage. Sorry if you're trying to watch the game. You won't be able to. <laughs> uh, we kind of just started another forest fire. Yeah, I know! I just saw it on the news! That means I don't get to watch the Heat game! Bam at a buy! No! For anyone who didn't get that, there's a guy on the Miami Heat whose name is Bam Adebayo. 
you know, bam it a bye yo, bam it a bye no, it's a pun. Marvin, can we please have a Star Wars movie marathon where we watch all 11 movies? There's 11 Star Wars movies? Yeah, Marvin, you have to start with Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, Solo, Rogue One, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker! Okay, fine, we can try to watch all those movies, but I can't guarantee I'll stay awake during all of them. Yes! <sighs> Stop it, Jeffy. Stop it, we're trying to watch a movie. Stop it! Knock it off! I wonder what's gonna happen next. I can tell you what's gonna happen next. We've seen this movie like 50 times. I can tell you what's gonna happen. The Darth Vader guy is like the dad or something. Meow. Meow. Stop it! Meow. Stop it, Jimmy! Meow. I said stop it! Don't, don't you dare do the diaper thing. I don't wanna see. Meow, 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 meow. Stop it, Jimmy! Marvin, turn off the movie! It's too loud, Marvin! It's not too loud. I can still hear the meowing. You are grounded! Why? Because we're trying to watch a movie! Why? Because we want to watch it! Why? Because we, we, we can do that! Why? Stop it! Why? <sighs> Who's at the door? Okay, I answered the door! No. Is Jeffy answering the door? No, Jeffy can't answer the door. Just stay here and keep beating on your cat piano. <laughs> Hello? Hello, sir. Is your name Marvin? Uh, yeah, why? Well, my name's Mr. Goodman, and I'm the superintendent of your local school district, and I was coming by to congratulate you on the adoption of your new son, Jeffy. Well, no, 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 I did not adopt Jeffy. He's just staying here until we find his parents. The cops are looking for him. But are you his legal guardian? No, I'm not, no. He just lives here, and I watch over him until they find his parents. So, legal guardian. Okay. And by law, since you are Jeffy's legal guardian, you're responsible that Jeffy knows every single subject on this piece of paper. Well, and I'll be coming by tomorrow to test him on it. Well, well, what if I refuse to teach him all that stuff? Well, if you refuse to teach him all this stuff, and he fails the exam, then you go to jail. Well, go to jail? I don't want to have to do all that! Well, tough. Here, I'll be back tomorrow. <sighs> What's that for, Marvin? I want you to shoot me in the head. What? what? Because this guy showed up at the door and said I have to homeschool Jeffy or I'm gonna go to jail. And he says we have to teach him all this stuff. It's ABCs, count to 10, math, English, art, color, and at least one sport. But what's so hard about that? Meow. 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 Oh, just shoot me in the head. It'd be easier. Marvin, it'll be fine. Let's start with the ABCs. Meow. Jeffy, you ready to learn your ABCs? Meow. I love animals. My favorite animal is your carrot. Oh, just shoot me in the head, please. Marvin, it'll be fine. Come on, Jeffy, let's learn your ABCs. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to learn your ABCs? ABCs? Yes, Jeffy, you have to learn your ABCs by tomorrow. Our daddy goes to jail. Why? Because God hates me. Mm. All right, Jeffy, A is for apple. Apple? Very good, Jeffy, A is for apple. B? Ah! Jeffy, are you okay? There's a scary bear on the car. Jeffy, it's not a real ah! It's not a real bear. Ah! It's on the car. Ah! Put it away, put it away. Okay, okay. <sighs> C is for cupcake. Cupcake? Very good, Jeffy. C is for cupcake. This might be easy. D. <laughs> it's a dog, Jeffy. <laughs> Dogs aren't scared. <laughs> put it away. Put it, okay, put, okay. put it away. <sighs> That's an elephant. <laughs> what? A fish. <laughs> what? That's a goose. <laughs> a horse. Come on. <laughs> and it's blue. Okay, okay, okay. No more cards. Just get the whiteboard and just write out the alphabet. Maybe that won't scare them. Okay, okay. <sighs> You're being ridiculous, Jeffy. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, you're gonna learn your ABCs using this whiteboard instead of the animal cards. Why well, I like the animal cards. No, you did it. You screamed every time you saw an animal. All right, baby, you can teach them. Okay, Jeffy, repeat after me. A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. E. 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 Oh, okay, that, that's, gonna, that's gonna take forever. How about we sing the ABC song? Hey, Jeffy, you wanna learn a song? I like songs. Okay, oh, wait, wait, listen to this ABC song that'll teach you the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Yes, Y and Z. See, now you know your ABCs, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, wait. Can you say your ABCs on your own? Yeah, I can jam. Okay, okay, baby, get rid of the board. I don't want them cheating. Okay, Jeffy, say your ABCs. Okay. G Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. 
Jeffy, you just said your ABC's backwards. That, that's incredible. That, that, that's more impressive than saying your ABC just normally. How did you do that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to count that as he knows his ABC's because that's really impressive to say them backwards. So now we have to teach him how to count to 10. Now, that's easy. Uh, go get the cue cards for the 1 to 10. Okay. Okay, now, Jeffy, you're going to learn how to count. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to learn your numbers? Numbers? Yes, Jeffy, all you have to do is learn how to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See how easy that was? 1! Look, just read the card. Try this one, Jeffy. Train I 1. No, Jeffy, that's not the letter I, that's the number 1. Look, there's one train, that's the number 1, and that's the number 1 spelled out. Try again. Train 1-1. One, one. Yes, Jeffy, but you don't have to say everything on the car. You can just say the number. Try this one, Jeffy. Truck, truck, two, two. You could have just said two. You don't have to say everything else. Just say the number. Duck, 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 goose, three, three. Just say the number, Jeffy. Fwong, 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 four, four. <sighs> he's doing so well, Marvin. But he doesn't have to say literally what's on the card. He just has to say the number. I know, but he's doing really well. Here, Jeffy, try this one. Meow, 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 meow. Five, five. Good job, Jeffy. No more cat piano, but put that away. You have to pay attention. Aww. All right, Jeffy, try this one next. Flower, 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 six, six. Jeffy, just say the number. Balloon, 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 seven, seven. Jeffy, you don't have to read everything. Just, just the number, please. Crayon, 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 eight, eight. Jeffy, just the number. Ooh, try this one. Jesus cupcake, Christ. cupcake, 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 nine, nine. Last one. Tractor, 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 ten, ten. All right, we're done. We're done. No more. No more. Marvin, I think he could do one more. No. Yeah, I want another one. No, no, no. We're done. Okay, one more. <sighs> Here you go. Bunny rabbit, 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 bunny rabbit. Strawberry, 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 strawberry,
okay, 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 how about this, how about this? Okay, ex just explain this to me. How come two plus two equals baby two, but zero plus zero equals two? Because they love each other on this card, but they don't love each other on that card. How can you tell the zeros don't love each other? Because there's not a heart on that card. There's no heart on this card! Well dang, if you take this two and flip it around and put it next to this two, it'll be a heart with a line underneath it. He's a genius. He's actually making sense. He's a, he's a genius. Alright, we're done with addition. Let's move on to subtraction. Maybe, maybe you're better with taking things away. All right, Jeffy, now we're gonna learn subtraction. Subtraction is when you take things away, like how you're taking years off my life with all this stress. Okay. All right, baby, get the first card. All right, Jeffy, here it is. All right, Jeffy, what is eight minus four? Eight. What? How is it eight? Well, because you have an eight up here, and then you take away your four, so the eight's left, so the answer is eight. Oh, I see the confusion. Yeah, I understand how that makes sense, that if you take away the four, it'd be eight, but no, the, the answer's four. How is it four? The four's already taken off the card right there, so the, all that's left is the eight. Well, well no, Jeffy, because look, look, two fours make an eight. We're not talking about two fours. We already have one four right here, and it's already subtracted. So the answer's eight. He has a point, Marvin. I understand he has a point, but eight minus four is four because it takes two fours to make an eight. You remove one of the fours, it's eight. Stop bringing up two fours. It's bad enough we got one right here, and that one's already taken off. So stop bringing up the four. The four's gone, so eight is left. <sighs> it, the answer is four. Eight minus four is four. It's not eight. You have a four right here. You take the four off the card. So what's left? Eight. Eight, exactly. Am I wrong? Yes. How? But because eight minus four is four. No, it's not. The four is gone. You don't have another four to add to it. Stop bringing up the four. You have a four, it's gone. You subtract the four, it's gone. Eight is left. Yes, eight is left, but no, it's, it's, it's four, Jimmy. Eight minus four is four. Screw this helmet, screw this pencil, screw this diaper, screw Einstein, and screw Newton. The answer is eight. Okay. You take the four off the card, and the answer's eight. Okay, Jeffy, fine, fine. The answer's eight. Eight minus four is eight. You got your way. You're right. You're right. The science is wrong. All the scientists are wrong. All those people are wrong. For, for years and years and years, everyone's been wrong. Eight minus four is eight, okay? That, that is the official answer, okay? Yep. All right, let's move on. He knows math, he's a genius at math, he's a math genius, so let's move on to art or something. Marvin, we need to go over English with him. We, we don't have to go over English, you just heard him yell at us in perfect English, right? Marvin, we're working on English next. Oh, he just... All right, Jeffy, now you're gonna learn English, and I know you already know how to speak English because you've been yelling at me all day in English, but now you're gonna learn phonics, how to pronounce your words better. <laughs> all right, bring me the card. All right, Jeffy, say frog. Fwog. No, see, Jeffy, you're saying it wrong. You're saying fwog. You gotta say frog. Fwog. No, there's no W. You're saying fwog. You gotta say frog. Frog. Fwog. Fwog. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not how you say it. You say frog. But you know what I'm saying. Fwog. Frog. You say frog. Frog. Fawaga. There's no W, you're saying Fawaga. If you know what I'm saying, why make me change it? Draw me a picture of what I'm saying. Fawaga. Frog. Okay, okay, let's try another one. Okay, you, whatever. Get another one. All right, say giraffe. Giraffe. No, it's not giraffe, it's giraffe. Giraffe. There's no D. Where's the D? Show me the D. That's what she said. Where's the D? It's giraffe. G da raff. No, it's giraffe. Giraffe. Stop saying giraffe, it's giraffe. That's how I say it, giraffe. Okay, fine, whatever, just put it down. You know you got that one, whatever. Ooh, you'll like this one, Jeffy. Why, why? N no, it's yo-yo. Why, why? No, no, oh, no, 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 don't read the top, read the bottom, yo-yo. Why, why? N no, Jeffy, say yo-yo. Why, why? No, like, like, act like a, like a cool gangster, yo-yo. Why, why? Marvin, don't teach him that. Oh, no, no. oh, okay, you know what? Fine. You know, you already know English. I told you he already knows English. He's a genius. Let, let's move on to the next thing. Here we go. Uh, we got um, uh, art and coloring. Look, he, Ooh, he loves to color. He he's loves art. good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's go color with some crayons. Uh-oh. Look what we got here. We got the next Picasso. Look at him go. A card of bug. <gasps> yes, you did. And, <gasps> what's that? Did you stay inside the lines? Yay, Jeffy! Yay, Jeffy did a good boy. Yeah, Jeffy did a good boy, so we can knock off coloring off that. So all we have to do is teach him at least one sport. That's it. Hmm, what about baseball? No, 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 no. Baseball is too dangerous. How about... 
T-ball. T-ball. Yeah, T-ball is really easy and no one will get hurt. I don't like T-ball. I, I know you will. You, you love T-ball. Let's go learn T-ball. All right, Jeffy, this is T-ball. It's literally the easiest sport in the world. Anybody can play it. See, unlike baseball, where someone throws the ball at you really fast, this ball is just sitting on a tee, and no one's moving it. So all you have to do is hit this ball with your bat. T-ball? Yeah, yeah, just hit this ball with that bat. Go. <laughs> Close, Jeffy. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeff, get him a bigger bat. Okay. I think if you have a bigger bat, it might be easier for you to hit the ball. Uh, here you go, Jeffy. Ugh. Careful there, slugger. Oh, that's a big bat. Now try to hit the ball. No, 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 you gotta hit the ball, Jeffy. What? Oh, no, you hit it the wrong way, you gotta hit that way. All right, Jeffy, hit the ball. Oh, Marvin, I'm so sorry. Has the swelling gone down at all? The doctor said my brain might hemorrhage. And you know what? That would be just fine. I'll get it. I'll get it. No, no. Let, let the injured guy go answer the door. The guy, the guy you know, who got hit in the face with a baseball bat. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What the hell happened to you? T-ball. I didn't know T-ball was a contact sport. It's not. Huh. Well, anyway, I'm here to administer... Jeffy, knock it off! Good boy. Anyway, I'm here to administer Jeffy's exam. Well, he's going to fail it anyway, so come inside. Hmm. Well, baby, these are the last few minutes we get to spend together before I go to jail. Do you think he's gonna pass, Marvin? No, no, I don't. I don't think he's gonna pass at all. I don't think there's any chance he's gonna pass. He looks like he's concentrating over there. Oh, he's concentrating. Well, in that case... <laughs> Marvin, stop it! Nope, he did this while we were watching the movie. Marvin, you know better than that! Nope, he does this all the time. Marvin, stop it! Okay, fine. He just does that all the time. Marvin? Uh, yes? Your son has finished testing now. Oh, man. Can you give me a few minutes to say goodbye to my girlfriend? I know I'm going to jail. Well, I would like to say that your son passed with flying colors. He did? I would like to say that. But unfortunately, over 90% of his exam was wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> would you mind explaining this to me? Oh, not this again. Yeah, 8 minus 4. What is it, Marvin? <sighs> it's 4. No, it's not. It's 8. You see, because you have an 8 up here, minus the 4, you take the 4 off the paper. What is it? Eight. Eight. Eight is left. So look, Jeffy taught me this earlier. Eight minus whatever number you have down here is always eight. So if you're subtracting something from the bigger number up top, it's always going to be that bigger number down below. And we're going to give him an honorary Harvard degree. Well, his son is a genius. A Harvard degree over that? Absolutely. And we're going to be calling it Jeffy's Law of Subtraction. What well, that doesn't make any sense. Eight minus four is four. No, it's not. You have eight up here. Take the four off the paper. What's left? Eight. Eight, exactly. And it's just like that with any other equation. But earlier it was eight minus four was four. I don't care what it was earlier. Now it's eight minus four equals eight. You take the four off the paper, always. You always take the number that you're subtracting off the paper and it's gonna be the bigger number. That doesn't make any sense, stupid. I don't care if it's stupid or not. We're calling it Jeffy's Law of Subtraction and we're giving your son, your genius son, a honorary Harvard degree. Can you can you do me a favor? Can, can you shoot me in the head with this gun? Sure. What are you doing, Cody? I'm practicing for when I beat Mikey up today. You're really gonna beat up a five-year-old in kindergarten? Yeah, he's not gonna be such a bad kid once I kick his ass. See, that's what kids need these days. Good old ass whooping. Open up a can of whoop ass. Your glove fell off, Cody. I know, I'll get it. Okay, well, I just think it's weird that you're 16 years old and you're gonna beat up a five-year-old. Dude, he's four, remember? Oh, yeah, you're four years old. Yeah, he's actually older than me, so, so it's fine if I kick his ass. It's fine. There, there, there. Telescope! Tiger! I got a big purple crown, cause I look purple! I'm playing with my stickers, I got stickers on my face! Give me your stickers! Yeah, you're my stickers! Ah! Yeah! Ready, blue play you! Ready to take off! Hey, Mikey. Hey! I don't want to touch your shitty airport. Actually, that's a pretty sick airport. Yeah, I got four different color planes. Red, blue, green, and yellow. Yeah, those are four colors. Yeah, so don't touch my airport. It's been very busy today. There's been a lot of delays. Well, there's about to be a lot more delays. Why? How are they going to fly without a control tower? Hey! Yeah, that's what happens, Mikey. That's what happens. Hey, don't do that! Yeah, you fuck with the car. Hey, hey, Did 
Did you give your parents the notes I wrote for them? Uh, yeah. My mom was very upset with my behavior. You know my dad got the note you wrote because you got in his car again last night! Shut up, Mikey! But you did! He gave you 50 bucks! What were you selling? Mikey, shut up or you're going in timeout! Mikey, you are making me feel very angry! Which brings me to today's lesson class. Today is Feelings Friday, and we're gonna talk about our feelings. Sometimes you can feel mad like I am at Mikey right now. Sometimes you can feel sick like I was this morning. I've been throwing up a lot for some reason, but sometimes you can also feel in love. You're in love with my dad. You know he doesn't love you, right? That's why he hits you. He doesn't love me either, because he hits me too. Mikey, you you're making me feel sad, and I would like to feel happy for once! Oh, oh I feel like I'm gonna throw up again! <laughs> Alright, class, today we're gonna go around one by one and talk about how we feel today! <laughs> Daryl, you first! <laughs> Feeling? Well, I'm feeling pretty mad at Mikey. I want to beat his ass. But I really want to do a Dragon City ad first. Can I please be excused? Yes, Cody, but hurry up! Thanks, Teach. It'll only be a minute. Hey, Dragon Masters! We're back with another video sponsored by Dragon City. And this time, we have a very exciting announcement for all SML fans. Dragon City has added a free exclusive SML decoration now available in-game. That's right, your very own piece of the SML universe just waiting to be planted right in the heart of your Dragon Empire. There's so much to do in this game. Dragon City is a whole kingdom of over 1,000 unique dragons waiting for you to collect, hatch, and evolve them. From fire-breathing giants all the way to mystical creatures inspired by some of your favorite YouTubers. With over 450 million million installs, joining this adventure means being part of a growing community where you can team up in alliances and unlock exclusive rewards together. Or you can head into PvP battles to prove your strength and climb the leaderboard. It's a world where every Dragon Master plays a part in a larger story, so if you're not part of this Dragon Dynasty yet, now's the perfect time. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to jump in. You'll get the exclusive SML decoration for your city, plus 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic OV Dragon to kickstart your journey. But hurry, it's a a limited time offer, so grab it while you can, and we'll see you in game. <sighs> okay, I'm back. <coughs> that was very nice, Cody. Now, kids, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and take a test. You guys play your games and try to think about how you're feeling. Wow, Mrs. Fitzpatrick is really sick. She must have cooties for my dad. Yeah, I think she's taking a pregnancy test. What's that? It's the thing that you put under your tongue and it tells you how hot you are. That's a thermometer, Freddy. But now that the teacher's out of the room, I'm gonna kick your ass, Mikey. Why? Because you got us in trouble and the teacher wrote a note home to my mom. But guess what, Mikey? I didn't give my mom that note. Ooh, I'm gonna tell Miss Fitzpatrick. Well, how are you gonna tell her anything with a broken lip? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, stay down, Mikey, you pussy. Yeah, does anybody else want some? Who do you think you are? I am. Cody, Cody, Yeah, Cody. yeah, I wanted to go just like that. Hey, Mikey, I'm gonna kick your ass. What? <laughs> yeah, how you like that? <laughs> ow, ow, oh God, he's by my ear. He's by my ear, Freddy, get him the fuck off me. Oh God, it hurts, it hurts, somebody help me. Uh, 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 oh, he bit my fucking ear off. Yeah, get, get, All right, class, I have to wait 15 minutes to see if this test is negative, which yeah, get, 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 hopefully it is. <laughs> His name is Mikey Tyson and he bit my ear off like Mike Tyson? I'm calling the principal right now! Wait, where's my ear? Has anybody seen my ear? It's right over here! Quick, put it on ice! Alright everybody, shut up! It's me, your principal, Mr. Steinbeck! <laughs> and your teacher right here, Mrs. Fitzpatrick. Ooh, yeah, she told me there was a little bit of a tussle in here. Over there! Over there? Okay. <laughs> Okay. I heard you two have a problem with fighting in class. He bit my ear off. Well, look, rub some dirt in it. This is kindergarten. Life gets a lot harder than this. He, he put 
punch me in the face first. Look, I'll punch the both of you in the face if Miss Thick's Patrick over there tell me about you two fighting that class again. Okay. You got me? Yes. That is it. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> And I'm gonna keep your ear. But why? Because I like it. it it's cool. <laughs> and let me address the class. All right, everybody, shut up! Mrs. Fitzpatrick over here walks in my class every single day and tells me this. Oh, my class is horrible. My students are from hell. Who birthed these demons? If I had a time machine, I would go back in time and murder every single parent so they couldn't even reproduce. Oh, these are the things I hear. Man, and Mrs. Fitzpatrick, she got an ass on her. Woohoo! Man, talk about a wagon and that ass is dragging. It should be illegal in all 50 states, honestly, even in Canada. <laughs> but uh, that's besides the point. <sighs> Look, if you little hell spawns make another ruckus in this class, do anything, fight, ah, break something, I don't care. I swear to God, there will be a mass murder. Uh, I mean, someone will, be, someone will be expelled. A lot of people will be expelled. <laughs> my bad about that. Uh, so, uh, how's my son Daryl? Well, he loves his bear. Bear, 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 Can we try to get him to learn a different animal? Well, he screams every time. <sighs> Let me talk to him. Bear, 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 hey, Daryl, son, buddy, uh, bear, how about we try a different animal like bear, the giraffe? Bear, no! Don't do it! Don't fucking do it! It's my son! I know how to talk to my son! Bear, Look, bear, how about we try the giraffe? Call them! Bear, 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 bear! See, see, bear. Fuck it, you win. Oh. He really likes that damn bear. It haunts my dreams. Just don't make him mad, ever, or you're fired. I know. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> it's positive. <laughs> hey, class, your teacher? She's sad. <laughs> Principal Steinbeck out. Wait, wait. Mrs. Fitzpatrick, if you ever need some extra cash, bring that ass this way. <laughs> Yeah, I want to change my answer. I'm not keeping it. Uh, Mikey, no, uh, I'm texting your father right now. I mean, yes, Mikey, go ahead and tell us how you feel. <laughs> the medicine I'm on makes me not feel anything. I am in so much pain. I am missing my fucking ear. Very good. Freddy, how about you? I feel stinky because I pooped in my pull-ups when the principal was yelling. That's very nice. Clarissa, you gotta keep the baby. No, I don't, Randy. What about all that good loving I've been giving you? It wasn't love, Randy. It was a service. Ooh, look at that tall glass of water. And I am thirsty. <laughs> Randy, I told you not to come to my place of work. You embarrassing me? Yes. Hey, Dad! That's my dad, guys. Mikey, shut up before I slap the shit out of you. He's the worst child I've ever had the displeasure of teaching. Well, we can raise one together. I'm not keeping it, Randy! Yes, the hell you is! Last time I saw my dad this mad, he killed my mom and my unborn brother. Uh, I, I know you guys are having relationship problems, but I'm actively bleeding over here. The principal stole my ear. Can I please go home? Why you ain't want to kill with me? Where do I start, Randy? You're a bum. Yeah, you got a bum. Look at that dumpy. Oh! Randy, you don't even have a real job. Oh, yeah? What about my SoundCloud that I get 32 listens to on? That's one for each day of the month. That's not a real job, Randy. And there's 30 days in a month, sometimes 31. And sometimes there's 33 depending on the year. That's not what a leap year is, Randy! Oh, yeah? Well, my career's about to leap this year. Yes, sir. On the 4th of Neverwary. Please, can I go to the nurse? I'm losing so much blood. Listen, Randy, can we talk about this later? You gonna take me to McDonald's? <sighs> sure. You gonna get me a 20-piece with the sweet and sour sauce? Sure. In your nice-ass car? Fella, she got a nice-ass car now. A 2006 Buick LeSabre. Yes, sir! That shit so clean it looks like it just came right off the lot. I don't care. I am in so much pain. Randy, if you leave right now, we can do the thing we did the other night. Okay! <laughs> Class, I'm so... So sorry. Bye, Dad! That's my dad. So you've said, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, I'm missing my ear. Can I please go to the nurse? Not right now, Cody. Maybe in a little bit. In a little bit? Am I going insane? Why is nobody helping me? Hey there, Miss Fitzpatrick. I'm here to do that procedure. 
Let's get that thing out of there. Oh, good, a doctor. Doctor, please help me. I'm missing my ear. Just a second, kid. I gotta do this procedure first. Just a second? Are you kidding me? My ear is gone. All right, open up. Wait, right here? Well, yeah, you want it done, right? I guess. Okay, I just gotta numb it first. Num, 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 num. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, this, this thing does have teeth. Uh, class, um, I'm feeling a little scared. How about everyone goes home for today? Thank God, I'm out of here. Uh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, can you give me a ride home? My dad already left. Nom, 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 nom. No, Mikey! Wait, hold on. Where's my little shark thing? Oh, there it is. I wonder if Cody won his fight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, God. Cody, what happened to you? Mikey bit my ear off. Wait, like Mike Tyson? Exactly like Mike Tyson. Oh, shit. Mikey Tyson? That's literally his name. No way. Yes way. He bit my ear off and the principal stole it. What, the principal took your ear? Yeah. Well, why are you here? You need to go to a hospital. I know. I just wanted to tell you guys how my day was. I, I'm, I'm going. That... That's, that can't be right. Talk about a bad day, dude. Yeah, I know. Kindergarten must be really tough. Thank you again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description for your special SML decoration and a bundle of rewards. Hey guys, it's Logan. We officially launched an SML gaming channel. Go subscribe right now. We're going to be uploading gaming videos every single day, just like this Roblox one you see on your screen right now. So please go subscribe to the new SML gaming channel for new content every single day. What? You can get a lot of momentum in this bitch. No! Yeah, you really can. Oh, oh I'm dead! I got hit in the face by ball. Guys, I got donuts! Oh, thanks, baby. Um, mommy, why are donuts? They're good, Jeffy. Well, of course you would say nuts are good, you're a girl. Well, Jeffy, don't say that, they have nothing to do with nuts. Then why are they called donuts? What? I don't know. Are they made out of nuts? No. Are they made out of dough? Yeah, like 100% dough. Okay, so then where did the nuts come in at? Did the chef rub his nuts all over them? Jeffy, don't say that. No, no one rubbed their nuts on them. Well, do they look like a nut sack? No. Well, then show me. Baby, show them. Okay, Jeffy, look. Look, 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 look what they look like. Danny, that looks nothing like a nut sack. See, I told you, it has nothing to do with nut sacks. It's, it's just dough. Look, look, call, call them dough circles. Well, I think they look like big Cheerios. Like, that's what they are. They're really big Cheerios, and they're really good. You should have some. Oh, okay, Danny, I'm gonna give me a Big Cheerio. Which one do I want? Um, dang, why is this Big Cheerio gold? What? Baby, did you order a golden donut? No, I don't know how that got in there. Why did we get a golden donut? Look, Marvin, let's watch TV. Hey there, do you like donuts? If you do, go buy a box of donuts. And if you find the golden donut, you'll win a lifetime supply of free donuts. Go buy them now. Wow, we really just want a lifetime supply of donuts. We're gonna get so fat, Marvin. Um, actually, I won the lifetime supply of donuts because I found the golden donut. But I bought them, Jeffy. But baby, don't argue. Look, we're not gonna claim that prize because that's so unhealthy. We don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. You're right, Marvin. Well, then can I go claim the prize? No, Jeffy, we don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. That's so unhealthy. <sighs> oh, man, Danny. All right, well, if you need me, I'll be in my room just eating these donuts and not going to go claim the prize for a lifetime supply of donuts and become the donut king or anything. Yep, do if you need me. I'll be in my room, Danny. Okay, Jeffy. Hear ye, hear ye. I am the ruler of the donuts. I am the Donut King. Whoa, Jeffy, how'd you get so many donuts? Well, Junior, I found this golden donut, and I won a lifetime supply of donuts, and now every time I want some, they send me hundreds of them, because I'm the Donut King. Well, can I get a donut? No, Junior, I'm sorry, but if I give one to you, I'll have to give one to all the peasants. Oh, you, you just have hundreds of them, so I thought I could probably have one. Hmm. Well, how about this, Junior? If you want a donut from the King, something amazing you must bring. To trade. But to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something cool for a donut. Uh, well, can I just give you money? No, I don't want money, Junior. I want something cool. Uh, what can I trade you for a donut? Um, ooh, I know, I, I got something. How about this? It's a megaphone. It makes you talk really loud. Give me a sec. Pee pee. All right, Junior, you got yourself a trade. You may pick out one donut. Yay, I get a donut! This thing is so pee pee. Uh... I feel so sick from eating donuts. I ate way too many donuts. See, that's exactly why we weren't going to claim the lifetime of supply of donuts, because they just make you feel so awful after you eat them. Ugh. <gasps> Look, Marvin, the news! Ugh. Breaking news, okay? There's a worldwide donut shortage ever since this kid won a lifetime supply of donuts and requested that all of them be brought to his donut kingdom. <gasps> he didn't. Jeffy, we told you not to claim those donuts! Jeffy! Yes, father? We told you not to claim those donuts! Bow to the king. What? Bow to the king. I'm not bowing to you. 
Bow No, Jeffy. Marvin, maybe we should just bow and get it over with. I'm not bowing to him. Danny, your shoe's untied. Thanks for bowing to the king. I didn't bow to you! Mommy, your toes are untied. What? Wait, don't, don't. Thanks for bowing to the king. Oh, we did not bow to you, Jeffy. Look, we're getting rid of all these donuts. Danny, we can't get rid of my donuts because I'm the donut king and this is my donut kingdom. Jeffy, I told you not to claim those donuts. Danny, you don't get a lifetime supply of donuts and not claim them. Oh, look, Jeffy, look, we're gonna get rid of all these donuts right now, okay? Please leave the kingdom. I'm not, I'm not leaving. It's not a kingdom. Guard! Yes, my liege. I requested that they leave the donut kingdom, and they're not leaving. Leave the donut kingdom. It's not a kingdom, it's a bed full of donuts in my house. The king wants you to leave. He's not even a king, that's a Burger King crown. Look, leave or you'll be sorry. What are you gonna do about it, dolphin boy? Okay, that's racist, and if you don't leave, I'm gonna give you a tail whooping. A, a, a dolphin tail whooping. I'm gonna whoop you with my tail, is what I'm saying. <sighs> Baby, let's just get out of here. They're a bunch of bullies! Oh, look, look, look at that on the TV. Karen, there's a donut shortage, huh? How about that? No, pretty! Great. Oh, Karen, my phone's ringing. No, buddy, you gotta cuddle with me! It's cuddle time! It's cuddle time, it's answer the phone time, Karen! Get, get off of me, get answer the phone. Hello? Wait, really? The chief? Wait. Oh my god. Okay, I'll be right over. Buddy, what's going on? It's the chief. He's dying. Oh no! Chief! Chief, what's going on? I'm dying, guy. No, 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 don't, don't, don't say that. W what's wrong? Wrong right here. Oh, Dr. Something Wong. W what is wrong? Wrong a girl. W no, I mean, what's wrong with him? Oh, he dying. He dying real fast. He donut blood sugar be going and crash. He need donut. He need donut right now. Really, sir? You need a donut? Yeah, guy. Whenever you become the chief of police, you have to have a donut every 24 hours or else you die. Oh no, but but Chief, the donuts are sold out all over the world! Ever since that damn kid had to go and win that stupid contest! Well, guy, it looks like I'm gonna die then. Tell my wife I was cheating on her. No, no, sir! You're gonna tell her that yourself because you're gonna make it! Y you really think so, guy? I know so, sir! I'm gonna get a donut! Well, you better hurry, cause the heart rate monitor video only four minutes long. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna hurry right now, I'll go! Hurry up, damn it! Marvin. What? Ever since Jeffy kicked you out of Donut Kingdom, you've been angrily eating those baked beans. Yeah, I like baked beans. When I'm stressed out, I eat baked beans. It's my new thing. Every character has a thing. My new thing is baked beans. It's a little weird. No, every character has a favorite food. Like, you know, like Woody, like shrimp, and Shrek, like cheesecake. I, I like baked beans. That That's my thing now. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello. Oh, hey, 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 is your son who won all the donuts here? Yeah, he's upstairs in his donut kingdom. His what? His donut kingdom. Ever since he won all those donuts, he made a kingdom in his room. Uh, okay, well, I really, really need one of those donuts. Well, so does everyone in the world. They made a line outside his room. What? Really? Yeah, there's a line. So if you want a donut, just go join the line. Okay. What? Oh, come on. This line is ridiculous. I know. Tell me about it. I've been here for 45 minutes. What? 45 minutes? What? Hey, 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 Pooby. Hey, Pooby. Let me skip you. What? No. Come on! Okay. Hey, hey, Logan. Logan, let, let me get in front of you. No! Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I can see why the movie never came out. Yeah, you guys were too busy waiting in line for donuts. Wait, is that Elena? El Elena! Can I get in front of you? No! Ugh, the SML crew sucks! I'm just liking all your videos. Hey, hey, Pooby, how's your bum arm? Oh, ha ha! Okay, this sucks. I'm gonna go talk to the guard. I've been in line for 30 minutes. What's taking so long? Sorry, ma'am. The Donut King is very busy. You'll just have to be patient. <sighs> okay. Coming through. Sorry, sorry. Hey, sorry. no Excuse skipping. Me. Oh, come on. You play like one character. Oh, uh, I play two characters. I play your wife, Blighty. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Don't even start. Hey, man, no skipping. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm a cop. I'm, I'm an officer of the law. Don't you have like a donut line skip pass? No, no. You'll just have to wait in line like everybody else. What? Hey, what's that? Where? Nice try. All right, send the next one in. All right, next. Oh, me, 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 me. Hey! I said next. Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I was next. Just don't ask anybody else. Okay, can I have a donut now? Bow to the king. W what? Bow to the king. Uh, oh, yes, 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 your highness. Anything for a donut. Uh, okay, can I have one? If you want a donut from the king, something amazing you must bring. 
To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something for, for a donut. Well, okay, I have cash. Can I just give you that? No, nope, I want something cool for a donut. What, uh, okay, I, look, look, man, I have a 20. How about I just give you a 20? No, you gotta trade me something cool. See, I got like this pocket bowling game. I got this megaphone. I got a flashlight and a stapler. You gotta trade me something cool if you want a donut. Okay, so just like junk? No, something cool. I don't... Okay, okay, look, man. My boss is dying, okay? And he, he if he doesn't get a donut, he's gonna die, all right? So I really Bear! need... Bored! Do you not have a heart? Bored. What? I don't know what to get... Uh, you can have my hat. Do you want my hat? I'll give you my hat. No, I already have a crown that says Burger King. What? Okay, well, maybe my tie? I'll give you my whole outfit. No, you gotta trade me something or else leave the kingdom. Well, I don't have anything to trade. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what to get... Just give me a damn donut! Leave the kingdom. What? No, no, I need... Leave the kingdom. No, I'm gonna take a donut. Guard! Oh, don't call him. He's Guard! already... Hey, what's up, your highness? Kick him out of the kingdom. Oh, good. He skipped in line anyway. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. And stay out. I don't want to see your face in the Donut Kingdom ever again. Well, well fine. I, I don't want to be in this stupid Donut Kingdom anyway. It's stupid and dumb. I, I do really need a donut, though. Where am I going to get one? Oh, oh, Karen. She's not banned. Yeah, I'll just get her. Okay, okay, Karen. Here, take this. Go, go. Boy, I don't understand what you're trying to get me to do here. It's very simple, Karen. I just needed to take this Dig Dug machine into the Donut Kingdom and give it to the Donut King in exchange for a donut. But, Boyney, I don't understand why you don't just go to the store to get a donut! What, Karen, don't you think if it was that simple, I would have done it already? They're sold out everywhere. Haven't you seen the news? Boyney, I'm sorry that I'm not as obsessed with donuts as you are. I'm not obsessed with donuts, Karen. Hey, Kitty. Oh, it's a oh, Kit Kat! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Boydie, this is crazy! Well, it's not crazy, Karen. Just go talk to the dolphin. Boyd, hey, do you understand how ridiculous this sounds? Listen to what you're telling me to do. <gasps> you need me to talk to a dolphin to get to the Donut Kingdom to trade the Dig Dug machine for a donut from the Donut King to get to the doctor to give you a dying boss on his deathbed! Yes. Can you do it? Okay, Boydie, but this just sounds crazy! Okay, here, take it, go. Oh, why is she taking so long? Hey, Boydie, I got your donut! Oh, Karen, you got the donut! Wait, wait, why is there a bite taken out of it? Oh, I got hungry on the way out. Oh, Karen, I guess, okay, I guess it doesn't matter, it's fine, but wait, wait where's your dress? Oh, uh, I really wanted to keep the ding dong machine, boy, day. <laughs> Good choice. All right, Karen, you got the donut, I can save my boss! He better hurry! Chief! Chief, I got the donut! Oh, you're too late! He died. No! All right, hold on, let me just restart the video. Guy, <gasps> chief, chief, quick, eat the donut. Oh, guy, you saved my life. I do anything for you, sir. Ew. All right, Daddy, I gave away all my donuts. What, you gave away all your donuts? I sure did. So the Donut Kingdom is no more. What, what'd you trade for all your donuts? Well, someone traded me a Ferrari for all my donuts. A Ferrari for all your donuts? Yep. Well, you know what? I I'm glad. You don't need that many donuts anyway. Those are unhealthy. You need to eat something healthy like baked beans. Ew. What? Baby, look what I just found. I found the golden baked bean. You know what that means? Baked beans for the rest of my life. Oh, no. All hail the baked bean king. Who wants to trade me a Ferrari for all my baked beans? No. Guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. <laughs> Joseph, who are you testing? Don't ask him. Do not give him the attention that he wants. But I want to know, Junior. It's not worth it. It's never worth it. <laughs> this nigga crazy. Oh, Junior, I gotta ask him. Please don't ask him. Please. <laughs> oh, Junior, it's killing me. I have FOMO. I need to be included in the joke. People like that only want attention. <laughs> oh, why are you so a picture like that? <laughs> oh, Joseph, who are you texting? Oh, my God. You still damn nosy, Cody. But if you must know, i just been texting a dude that I met online. He's pretty chill. Wait, you met a dude online? Yeah. It's nothing weird like that. Get your mind out of the gutter. God, all we do is talk about sports. He's an Eagles fan. Wait, how old is this guy? Uh, he's in his 30s or 40s. That's weird, Joseph. No, it's not. We just talk about basketball and football, I promise. Nothing weird. The only weird thing he's ever done was send me a picture of his junk. But I think it was by accident. He must have been trying to send it to his doctor or something. But he just sent it multiple times, like many times over. More than 
than I can count. Joseph, he's starting to sound like one of these. Nah, don't try my homeboy like that. He's not one of those. Nah, he's, he can't be. Can't be. <laughs> he just likes cupcakes, and I invite him over to eat some. You invite him over to my house? Yeah, he's pretty chill. I thought you would like that. Joseph, who buys gray, yellow, and white cupcakes? They're the color of my sadness, Cody. Okay. Yes, Jeffy, cupcakes. Yummy. Wait, why are the cupcakes all messed up? Yeah, what did you pogo stick on the way over here? Now, you know my only way of transportation is a pogo stick, Cody. Oh! That's him, dude! Oh, let's meet him downstairs with the cupcakes! I'm gonna call, call the police. Call the cops, yeah, I was gonna say call the cops, yeah. What's up, dude? I got the cupcakes! I'm glad you can make it! What the fuck's going on, everybody? It's your boy, eat that C445, nigga. What, Joseph, that's his name? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So, what are you doing here? Yeah, I just took a mean-ass shit in Chipotle. And um, I've been holding this shit for almost, what, 15, 16 hours. I used so much tissue to wipe my ass with. When I flushed the toilet, it didn't go all the way the fuck down. So, um, of course, there's tissue. Not all of the tissue can go down in the fucking toilet, you feel me? Y yeah, that, that makes sense. <gasps> oh, look, Cody, the cops are here. Okay. Freeze, get up and get to the wall. You're under arrest. Yeah, arrest them for talking to kids online. No, don't arrest my friend. What are you doing here, bub? Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake <laughs> and then go back home. Oh, yeah? Likely story. You're coming with me. Yeah, that's right. Arrest him. Dang it, guys. I can't believe you got my friend freaking arrested. You guys suck. Well, Joseph, he got himself arrested. He was one of these. No, he wasn't. He was not one of those. You're a liar. Hey, guys. Thanks for helping me catch that guy. Who knows what could have happened? He would have ate a cupcake? Oh, I don't think he was after cupcakes. Yes, he was. Look at the text. That's all he wanted. Oh, God. So much penis. Oh, it's a good thing he's in jail. He already had several charges, including destroying a Chipotle bathroom. So what do you guys want to do now? Well, you guys are so good at helping me catch people like that. If you guys weren't underage, I'd use you as bait all the time. Well, I'm not underage. I think we have today's video idea. Okay, kids, you can scram. This is a Jeffy video now. Jeffy, call your dad in here. Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I just came to arrest you for how you've been treating these cupcakes. Those aren't my cupcakes. Ooh, so you're saying I can have one? Sure. Okay, well, it's actually illegal to give away something that's not yours, but I'll let it slide just this once if I can have a cupcake. I said you can. Okay, well, I can't let it slide twice. You're under arrest. For what? I'm just joshing you. Calm down. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I got a job offer for Jeffy. Oh, no, I'm not working at that Five Nights at Freddy's place. Uh, no, no, that's that's a different video, and that's not happening for a while. I mean, sure as hell not in January. Adds a shit then. I mean, maybe in February. We'll see. So what's your job offer? Oh, well, earlier tonight, I, uh, one of those came over to the house and tried to talk to Jeffy and some other kids. Well, uh, one of those? Yeah, don't worry, I arrested him, but that got me thinking. You know, we could get Jeffy to go online and pretend to be a kid to attract, you know, those people, and then whenever they come over here, I arrest them. Um, that sounds kind of dangerous. Oh, what's dangerous about inviting a monster over to your home whose only intention is to assault somebody? Look, you'll be fine. How's the pay? Oh, the pay's great. It's kind of a commission sort of situation, so Jeffy would get a hundred bucks for every guy I arrest. So it'd be a hundred bucks per perv. hundred bucks per perv. So if you arrest a hundred pervs in a night, that's ten thousand dollars in a night. Yeah, but I don't think your kid is that good looking. And also, they'd have to line up at the door and take a number, and then they'd see people coming out in handcuffs. Look, well, let's just see what happens. All right, yeah, we're, we're down. We're, we're totally down. Okay, I'll go get my laptop. <laughs> okay, I got my laptop, and I'm setting Jeffy up a profile. Okay, his username is my parents aren't home 2011, and I set his age as 12. Hold on, I gotta take a picture for the profile. Make a good face, Jeffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let me just uh, upload that. Oh, I got a biter. Okay, he's coming over. But already? Oh yeah, my pedo riz is unreal. The things I said were diabolical. So what's gonna happen now? Okay, so now whenever the guy comes over, Jeffy's gonna open the door and he's gonna let the guy in and take him to the kitchen. Then he's gonna say he has to go use the bathroom or something. And then this TV show host is gonna come in and roast the hell out of him. Damn right. Oh, okay, well what if the guy has a gun? He's not gonna have a gun, calm down. Oh, he's here. Everybody take your positions. Jeffy, go answer the door. Okay. Hello and welcome to How to Catch a Pervert. Just outside this door is a man who thinks he's going to be meeting up with a 12-year-old boy. But really, he's going to be meeting up with our 19-year-old decoy, Jeffy. Jeffy, I'm gonna go hide in the pantry until you bring the pervert into the kitchen, and then I'm going to come out and roast him with hilarious puns. Oh, that sounds like him. He must be hungry. Answer the door, Jeffy! Alright. Hello? Oh, goddamn, you're hot. So, uh, yeah, you are My Parents Aren't Home 2011, right? Yeah. And you are 12, right? Uh-huh. Oh, jackpot. So, uh, you gotta invite me in? Don't be rude. Yeah, come on inside and smell my butthole. Oh, don't mind if I do. Alright, you stay right here and I'm gonna go to the bathroom and wipe. Alright, baby.
a couple sips of this NyQuil and he'll be out, and I'll be in. Hey there, sir! Back off, he's mine. I found him first. Ew! Well, what were your intentions here today? I'm trying to smash, man. What you talking about? <laughs> what you thought this was? So you're not even trying to deny it, huh? Listen, I'm not sharing. You can have what's left after. Well, nothing inappropriate's happening here today. Well, I didn't think it would happen here. I assumed we'd be doing it in, like, a bedroom or something. Listen, I don't think you understand. You're on the hit TV show, How to Catch a Pervert. Oh, you're recording this? That's great. Be sure to send me a copy afterwards. Uh, no, no, that, that's not what we're doing. Listen, you're going to jail, and this is a police officer. Well, I can't go back to jail. This is a setup. Oh, help, police! I'm the cameraman. Freeze, get on the ground. You're under arrest. I'm not going back to jail. Oh, shit, he has a gun. Run! <laughs> Okay, okay, let him go. Fuck it. He has a gun. Just just lock the doors. <sighs> Did I hear gunshots? Yeah, he had a gun. Did you arrest him? No, because he had a gun. Don't you have a gun? Yeah, but I left it in the car. Well, go get it and go after him. No, I want to do this. This is more fun. There's a predator on the loose that shot at police. But, yeah, but you're, you're not my boss, okay? You can't tell me what to do. Well, do we at least get the hundred dollars? No, because it's per arrest and I didn't arrest him. Oh, man, so I wiped for no reason? No, no, you wiped for a reason because I am the Rizzler and I'm going to up some old men. Well, what if the next one has a gun? Well, I'm just gonna pat him down when he comes in. You can't pat him down. He'll know he's caught immediately. Well, I'm just gonna tell him that I'm Jeffy's 14-year-old older brother who's playing cops. You don't look 14. Yeah, well, you're bald. Oh, yeah, Marvin, by the way, we're gonna need you to interrogate the next pedo. Well, what happened to Steve? Well, Steve broke his nose when the last one headbutted him, and he doesn't want to do it anymore, so it has to be you. I don't want to get headbutted. I'm not doing it. Listen, it's 100 bucks, man. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, I got one. Ooh, with a wiener pick. Ooh, put that in the small fold. Older. Yeah, I'm categorizing the wiener so I can make a collage for the Met. It's been a long time since I put one in the humongous folder, though. Might just have to take a picture of my own wiener. Oh, he's here! Okay, Jeffy, you know what to do. Marvin, go downstairs. Hello? Hey there. Oh, hey, Jeffy. I didn't know you were 12. I'm not. I'm 19. But I lied. You said you were 12. Hey, bud. I gotta pat you down real quick. Who are you? Oh, I'm his 14-year-old brother. You don't look 14. Yeah, well, I saw your dick and I put it in the small folder. Yeah. He's clean. Well, I wouldn't say clean. I have herpes. Well, you wanna come inside? Okay. Alright, you stay right here and I'm gonna go shave my asshole. Okay, I don't mind. Do, 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 do. Oh, look. Cool aid yummy. Hey there. Ah, who are you? I am Jeffy's father. Oh no, am I in trouble? You're in a lot of trouble. Can you pee on me? Wh what? I'm in a naughty piggy and I need someone to pee on me. No one's going to pee on you because you're on the hit TV show, How to Catch a Perv. Oh no, am I going to jail? Yeah, because you're a perv. Oh, ho, ho, ho. my dad's going to be so disappointed. I'm sorry, daddy. I'm such a fuck up. You were trying to get with a 12 year old. I was. I'm so sorry. Well, you got to leave so you can go to jail. I don't want to leave. Can I stay here with you? No, you gotta leave. Okay. Can I go out the back door? Can you go out the back door? I think so. Okay. Can I take this coin with me? Yeah, you can take whatever you want. You're going to jail. Thank you. What the hell is taking so long? Where is he? I'm ready to arrest him. <sighs> So where are you from? Australia. Sydney. Guys, where the hell is Pep on my ball 69? Who? The weirdo. Oh, he went out the back door. The back door? You're supposed to send him out the front door. He said he could go out the back door. Well, I didn't know. God damn it, guys. We let another one get away. Get away? You don't have the whole house surrounded with cops? No, we're the only two cops here. And I'm the cameraman. God, you're only supposed to send him out the front door. Do I get my $100? No, because we didn't arrest anybody. Damn it. <sighs> Marvin, this is not supposed to be this hard. We've already lost two, and both of them are your fault. How is the first one my fault? I warned about the gun. Okay, yeah, you're right. The second one was your fault. Okay, we're both tied, one at one, your fault. Yes, okay, deal. But we're still gonna arrest one tonight, because I am going to become the Wizard of Oz. The ultimate Riz. I'm gonna give this everything I've got. Okay, I've matched with one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll like that. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. No, 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 no. That sounds desperate. No, that's no good. Let's try a different approach. Okay, I think I got him, and... Send! <laughs> oh, and we got a wiener pick, too! Let's open that up. Woof! Oh my god, look at this thing. Marvin, come look. I don't want to. Marvin, come look. Oh, sweet Jesus! I know, right? Look at that thing. That's going in the humongous folder. Can I see? No, no, you can't. No, actually, you know what? That's getting its own folder called Damn. 
With not enough storage. Marvin, do you have an external hard drive, preferably two terabytes? We don't have time for that. Oh, terabyte dick! Marvin, I'm not gonna lose this. This is a unicorn. It's like seeing a supernova in a telescope. It's one in a million. <laughs> Is that him? Yeah, it must be him. Okay, let's go over the plan. Jeffy, you're gonna bring him in and take him to the kitchen. I'm gonna pat him down. Marvin, send him through the front door. Why don't you just arrest him at the front door and we eliminate the kitchen? Huh. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what? Let's just feel it out. Jeffy, to the door! Onward! Hello? Hey there, kid. Ready to play with my snake balloon? Excuse me, sir. Let me just pat you down real quick. Oh, God, I can feel it. Oh, God, it might as well be a gun. Can we hurry this up? I gotta let this kid play with my snake balloon. Sir, what were your intentions here tonight? To let this kid play with my snake balloon? Well, I saw the messages. I wrote them myself. Why would you write the messages for him? Does his hands not work? No, sir, th this is a sting. Are you a bumblebee? N no, what I mean is this is a trap. Where? N no, th this is the hit TV show How to Catch a Pervert. Don't you see the camera crew? Oh, shit, they're not here because we didn't tell them we were doing this at the front door. They're still in the kitchen. Okay, you know what? You're still under arrest. Oh, rats. Hell yeah, Marvin, we got one. We did, so I get $100? No, because you didn't talk to the guy and we didn't get it on camera, so we're not going to make any money off this one. Oh, well, what about the footage from the first two guys? Well, that footage is not usable because those guys got away and the show is not called How to Let a Pervert Get Away. It's How to Catch a Pervert, so we'd have to actually catch one. Well, then just try to get another pervert over here and, and, and I'll help. Nah, I'm all rizzed out for tonight. Maybe some other time, though. For right now, I have to point at the camera and say something. Hey, don't talk to strangers. And definitely don't meet up with strangers you met online or on Fortnite. King Dave and Dave and Dave. No 
one's gonna stop me! <laughs> Let her go, or suffer the consequences. <gasps> Wait, who is he with that gorgeous hair? Uh, I shampoo and condition. So sexy. Oh, the hair. It's my only weakness. Are you ready to die? Oh, he can fly too. Of course I can. I'm super hair man. Super, super hair, super, super hair man. Hair. Oh, it's too much. Ah! I got you, baby, I got you! Hi, baby, I saved you! Thank you so much for saving me! Oh, hey, watch the hair! <laughs> oh, man, it was just a dream! I wish my life was like that dream, a full head of hair. Can you imagine me being a sexy beast? Oh, my life is so sad. Huh? Who's at the door? Oh, they probably woke me up from my dream! Hello? Hey, you want to see my pencil? Wait, your pencil? Wait, who are you? What are you, what are you doing here? Oh, my name is Jeffy. She is changing on my shirt. Jeffy. What, Jeffy? What, what's this note say? Oh, it says I'm a good boy. Please babysit. Sorry, wait, wait, I'm not a babysitter. What are you doing here? Oh, my mom dropped me off, and she said that my name is Jeffy, and now I'm a good boy. Well, your mom needs to pick you back up because I'm not a babysitter, so where's she at? Where's she go? Oh, she drove off. Well, she drove off? Wait, how, how am I supposed to take you back to her? Look, look, look how about this? How about this? You want to see my pencil? You've already showed me that. She can go on my nose. Look, uh. Wait, no, don't, don't do uh, that. Uh, why? Because you're going to hurt yourself. Why? Because pencils aren't supposed to go in noses. Why? Because it, it, it hurts. Why? Stop saying why. Why? Ah! No, don't, don't start shouting. You want to see me draw a pretty picture? No, we, we no more, no pretty picture. I'm drawing on your wall. It's a pretty picture. No, I'm just, just, stop it. Why? What if I came to your house and drew a pretty picture on your wall? Go for it. No, no, no go for it. Yes, go for it. Stop it. All right. What? What was that? What are you doing? No, look, look, look. How about you come inside and I give you some gummies? Gummy? Yeah, gummies. Okay. Yeah, come, come on. Let's find your mom. Oh, God, why is this my life? Why did he show up at my door? All the houses in the neighborhood, and he chose mine. Okay, look, I'm gonna give him the gummies, and I'm gonna call Rose for help. Hey, Jeffy, I got your gummies. Why? Because I said I'd get you gummies. Feed me, I'm a giraffe. Oh. Wait, no, you're not a giraffe. Gummy right here. Yeah, gummy does go right there, but you can put the gummy there. You don't. No, no, no. Wait, wait, why are you wearing a diaper? In case I poop my pants. But the diaper's on the outside of your pants. Yeah, so it won't get dirty. But then, but then your pants will get dirty. Okay, look, 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 here's a whole box of gummies. You can just eat these and have fun. Uh, wait, wait, what are you doing? Uh, stop uh, it. I'm trying to put a pencil in my nose. And I said stop it. The pencil does not go in your nose. Why? Because pencils aren't meant for noses. Then why does my nose have holes in it? To, to breathe. Does your nose have holes in it? Yes, every nose has a hole in it. Then a pencil goes in it. No, just because a pencil will fit in it doesn't mean it should go in it. So look, look, look. Open your nose. No, open the nose. Yes, open your nose. Look, 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 just eat your gummies, okay? You want to see my pencil? It's, look, I've seen it. it, it you, you show it to me every five seconds. Look, look, you can just eat the gummies, and I'll be right back. Come on, answer the phone, answer the phone. Why do you have a phone if you don't answer it? Hey, baby. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Okay, look, I have a huge problem. Baby, I know you're bald, but we talked about it. You can get the hair implant. I don't want the hair implant. That's not the problem. Well, what other problems do you have other than being bald, Marvin? Marvin? That's your name now. Oh, we couldn't think of a better name than Marvin? Just go with it. Okay, look, 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 look. A kid showed up at my door. Ooh, was he selling cookies? I wish he was selling cookies. I think his mom abandoned him. What? Yeah, so I need you to come over right now, okay? Okay, okay, I'm coming right now, Marvin. Oh, Marvin. Don't worry, Jeffy. Help is on the way. What? Jeffy, why'd you put that pencil on your nose? What? What, you say? Why'd you put that pencil on your nose? I told you not to do it. I can't hear you. Get the gummies out of your ears. <laughs> Try checking up your nose. Oh. <laughs> what? What? oh. Hold on, just stay right here. A rose at the door, just stay right here. Oh, thank God you're here, baby. This kid literally shoved the pencil up his nose. What? Why would you let him do that? I didn't let him do it. I told him not to do it, and he did it anyway. Well, I brought him a coloring book and some crayons. I thought he might like that. Well, you know what he's going to do with those crayons? He's going to shove up his nose, because he thinks that his nose has holes in it. That stuff's supposed to go up there. Oh, Marvin, he's not going to do that. Well, just, just come inside. Okay. All right, baby, he's in here. But don't get too close to him. I don't know what he might do to you. <laughs> What's wrong, Marvin? Uh, he, he was right here. He's not here. 
Oh no, he's losing the house! It's gonna be okay! No, no, it's not okay, you know, he's crazy! He, he put these gummies in his ears, he has a pencil on his nose! That's not sanitary! It's not sanitary! He, he's insane! Oh, he might destroy the house! We, we have to look for him! Okay, he, he has a blue helmet on, a yellow shirt that says Jeffy on it. You look that way, I'll look this way! Okay! Jeffy! Jeffy, where are you? Uh, I wanna see your pencil! Oh god, what if he starts a fire? Uh, Marvin? I think I found him! Well, you, you did? Uh, don't, don't get near him! Alright, baby, where is he? Hey, I'm a mummy. You're not a mummy, Jeffy. Why are you making a mess with the toilet paper? Because I had to go poop poop. Well, did you go poop poop? Yeah, and the good news is, is I'm wearing the diapers, so we're all good there. Well, that's good. No, it's not good, because the diaper's on the outside of his pants. What? So now your pants are all full of poop. Well, at least the diaper's still clean. But your pants are dirty. Bingo. So who's gonna wipe me? Hey, can, can, can you wipe him? Absolutely not. It's starting to itch. It's starting to itch. Mm -mm. And he's starting to run up my back. It's starting to run up his back. I will not. Please <laughs> wipe me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I will deal with him. Can you just please go try to call the cops and file a missing person report or, or file a, a found person report? Just, just get rid of him, okay? Okay, Marvin. <sighs> oh, where my pencil go? <laughs> kill me. Somebody kill me. All right, Jeffy, we got you all cleaned up, and now you can finish eating your gummies. But my diaper's still clean. Yeah, because you crap inside your pants and not your diaper. And my pants are dirty. Yeah, because you crap inside your pants. Jeffy, Jeffy, stop it. Stop doing that. Why, why are you doing that? Stop it. Marvin, Marvin. What? The cops are on their way. They are? Thank God, we're safe. Because Jeffy's being really weird right now. Look what he's doing. He, he keeps smacking his diaper, and he's making that weird face, and he won't answer me. Look, Jeffy. Jeffy, stop it. Jeffy. Jeffy, stop doing that right now. Jeffy, please. Jeffy, how could you? Jeffy, there's a lady right here. You're gonna do it in front of a lady? Jeffy, stop it. Please stop it. Oh, grab the coloring book. Okay. Maybe that'll distract him. Hey, Jeffy, look at the coloring book. Coloring book? Yeah, it's a coloring book. Have you ever colored one before? No. Grab a crayon. Okay. Okay, so, so, so the pages in this book, you color them with a crayon. <gasps> I want the crayon for my nose. Well, no, 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 no. You're not going to put that in your nose. But my nose has an extra hole in it. Give me. That's not what the holes are for. You, 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 you use those for breathing. You're not going to put a crayon in your nose. But I want the crayon for my nose. Give me half it. You're not putting it in your nose. I want it for my nose. Okay, we're not going to give it to you if you're going to put it in your nose. Okay, fine. I won't put it in my nose. You promise you're not going to put that in your nose? Yeah, I promise. Okay, give it to him. But you better not put that in your nose. You better not put that in your nose. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh! You know, no more crayon for you, bad boy! You said Jimmy, you bad boy! Oh, 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 what's happening? I don't know! What are you doing? Stop! Stop it! Let's say some good things. Um, um, Jeffy, you're a good boy! Yeah! yeah you yeah. say I'm a good boy? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a good boy right here. You're a good boy. Yes, you're a good, good boy. Oh, okay, this is insane. He's crazy. Oh, 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 the cops, the cops are at the door. Okay, keep an eye on them, and I'm gonna go into the door. Uh, Yay, the cops are here, the cops are here. Hello. Hey there, call the cops? Yes, please kill me. Whoa, do I gotta take you to a padded room? Huh? Huh, you little psycho, a padded room? How's that sound? No, 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 I, I need your help. C come inside, please. Okay. All right, officer, the problem's in here. Ugh, a blonde. Tell me about it, then nothing but trouble. What? No, 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 not, not, not her, him. Look, I found my pencil. Well, I'm glad you found your pencil, Jeffy. Wait, wait. Why is there a crayon in your nose? Rose, why is there a crayon in his nose? I'm sorry, I tried to stop him. He was just so persistent. Uh, why is there a crayon in his nose? He likes to put things in his nose. Wait, where my crayon go? Has anyone seen my crayon? It's Lello. Look, officer, look, this is what happened. Look, look, I was laying on the couch, living the dream, and out of nowhere, I get a knock on the door, and this thing, that this person shows up at my door, and he says his mom dropped him off and abandoned him. So get rid of him, please. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me just ask him a few questions first. Uh, hey there, Jeffy. I see on your shirt it says your name's Jeffy. So, so what's your last name? Jeffy. Y your last name is Jeffy? So, so your name is Jeffy Jeffy. Uh, okay. Jeffy. Y yeah, uh, all right. Uh, so, so can I get an address? Where do you live, Jeffy? Jeffy. You, you live on Jeffy. So, like, can I get a house number or something? Seven. Se seven Jeffy? So, so your name is Jeffy Jeffy and you live on Seven Jeffy. Seven Jeffy Street. Jeffy, this is going nowhere. I, I know, he's so dumb and he doesn't answer me. He just does dumb stuff all the time. So can you please just get rid of him because I... What, what, what's he doing with it? What, what, oh, okay, what, oh. 
And then he does that. Yeah. I don't know why. Stop him from doing that. No, I mean, I look, he's having a blast. He's clearly enjoying himself. I know, but he's doing that in front of a lady. He, he needs to stop doing that. I mean, let's knock yourself out, you know? Oh, look, 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 look what happens when you call him a bad boy. Jeffy, you're a bad boy. <laughs> you said Jeffy's a bad boy. Oh, oh, no, 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 Jimmy's a good boy? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yes, he's a lunatic, so, so get him out of my life now. Well, see, the problem is you find yourself in kind of a weird situation because, uh, you know, there's that uh, finders keeper losers weepers law. What? Yeah, so, uh, you know, if you find a kid, you're going to have to take care of him until you can find his parents. What? That's the law, sorry. I I've never heard of that before. Well, there's nothing else I can do. No, 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 finders keepers losers weepers! I don't want him! Oh, oh, I have to be dreaming. I'm in a nightmare. I'm in a nightmare. No, wake up! Please 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 wake up! Ah, hey, ah. Huh? It was just a dream. It was just a dream. It was just a really bad, sucky dream. Oh, thank God. That would suck if that was real. Huh? Who's that? Hello? Hey, you want to see my pencil? You want to see it?